Hey guys, what is going on? Chris here with Shughead Gaming, and here is part two of two in my personal top 30 PSVR games of all time. As I mentioned in part 1, what originally started out as a top 10 quickly became a top 20, 25, and then 30, as I simply couldn't stand to cut some of the best games released for PSVR over the past 2 years. If you haven't checked out part 1 yet of games 30 through 16, click the tab in the upper right corner or check the link in the notes. So without further delay, I give you my top 15 PSVR games. Cracking the top 15 is none other than Until Dawn, Rush of Blood. A launch title for the PSVR, Rush of Blood was, and still stands, as my go-to VR experience to put friends and family into when showing off my VR. Its simple shoot and reload rail shooter design makes it easy to pick up and play, while its combination roller coaster, haunted house, and shooter provides the ultimate first VR experience. With high production values and very polished game mechanics, Until Dawn, Rush of Blood is simple pick-up-and-play fun that still stands as one of the best PSVR games to date. Much. Killing Floor Incursion is a made-for-VR game based on the Killing Floor Horde Mode franchise. Some may find the controls a lot at first, as the game requires the use of two move controllers to handle full locomotion and the dual wielding of weapons. But the payoff is an awesome 4 hour campaign that actually delivers a more solid playing experience than the standard horde mode gameplay found in the two core franchise entries. Fear not though as Killing Floor Incursion also has its own horde mode, which along with the entire campaign can be played alongside a friend in online co-op. Killing Floor Incursion plays like a next generation version of Arizona Sunshine and combines amazing visuals with awesome gun and melee combat to deliver one of PSVR's best shooters. Bonus points awarded for being able to chop off a zombie's arm, and then beat him with it. One of the longest running game franchises of all time made its PSVR debut on PSVR in the form of The Tetris Effect. Originally announced at E3 2018, I literally laughed out loud at the ridiculous announcement of a Tetris game in VR. But wow was I wrong. Tetris has always been about two things, the addictive and classic puzzle gameplay, and that of the almost zen-like experience of playing it. The developers wisely doubled down on the zen-like qualities and have created a game that really needs to be played in VR to properly appreciate it. Originally designed as a PSVR showpiece, the Tetris Effect combines dynamic music, incredible visuals, and fantastic usage of controller haptic feedback to give the player an experience like nothing else. Don't get me wrong, at its core this is still the same game I played 30 years ago on my Game Boy while pooping, but damn if it doesn't continue to be one of my go-to PSVR games to date. A video game phenomenon in its own right, Beat Saber takes the next spot on this list. Combining music, rhythm game mechanics with dual lightsabers while on paper sounds like an odd mix, turned out in reality to be awesome. Originally released on PC VR, Beat Saber makes its way to PSVR as the same polished and addictive game we all hoped it would be. However, unlike its PC counterpart, the PlayStation version lacks the custom track creator and therefore lacks the depth of song content to keep things fresh. This lack of content keeps Beat Saber from being higher on this list, but with the future DLC incoming to this already incredible solid foundation, it remains one of the top PSVR games to play for score chasers and VR parties alike. Superhot is next on my list and still remains as one of the best games to demonstrate to people why VR will change the way we play games. Don't let its simple white, black, and red visuals dissuade you from experiencing what is basically the Matrix experience in VR. In Superhot, time only moves when you do, resulting in combat that plays out more like a puzzle game than a traditional shooter. Nothing on PSVR makes you feel like more of a badass than orchestrating the perfect tapestry of death as you crawl, jump, and crouch all over your living room. In your underwear.
Feeling sometimes like Dead Space in VR, The Persistence isn't just one of the best PSVR games of 2018, it's also one of the best PS4 games of 2018. This AAA roguelike FPS has you attempting to survive aboard a doomed colony ship, overrun with mutants. With just a clone printer to provide host bodies and an armory fabricator to supply weapons, you must survive three levels of the ship in order to repair it and get to safety. You will die, and die a lot, but each time you do, the ship, enemy, and resource layout change, providing a new challenge every time. Each death brings back new XP and currency for you to upgrade, learn, and go back in. With AAA gameplay, visuals, and sound, the persistence is addicting, immersive fun, and easily one of the best PSVR exclusives. As a sim racer with a racing rig, Dirt Rally was already one of my favorite racing games of all time. With an amazing physics engine and incredible sounds and visuals, Dirt Rally has few peers. Incredibly, Codemasters has managed to take that entire game and with basically only a resolution downgrade ported the whole wonderful experience to PSVR. With its robust physics engine combined with detailed textures and weather effects and online rallycross multiplayer, Dirt Rally stands as the benchmark for real-world racers on the PSVR and the game the developers of GT Sport and Drive Club should take note of. This hardcore rally racer isn't for everyone as it's a punishing and unforgiving rally sim, but nothing on PSVR can beat the rush of throwing a 400 horsepower rally car into a corner at high speeds, then looking out your side window at the road ahead only to realize your door is gone. 60. For many veteran PSVR owners, one of our best memories was first grabbing that aim controller and jumping into Farpoint. This is one of the first games that made flat gamers take notice, as PSVR stepped into first-person shooter territory with a definitive middle finger to the shooters that had come before. While a little light on content at launch, Farpoint was the first and still one of the best games to put a gun in our hands and tell us to go live out our Halo fantasies. Nothing prepared me for the feeling of pulling a shotgun out from behind my back and unloading it into what was basically the arachnid from Starship Troopers. And since that experience, flat shooters became tame and obsolete forever. With AAA production values, co-op modes, and a 1v1 PvP mode, Farpoint delivers the goods and still stands tall as one of the definitive PSVR games of all time. Wipeout, the Omega Collection, came literally out of nowhere and now stands as a shining example of how and why developers should port flat games to VR. As an already amazing flat game, Wipeout is so perfect as a VR racer, it makes playing it in flat an absolute joke when in comparison. With some fantastic graphical trickery, Wipeout makes the jump to PSVR with almost zero graphical concessions and delivers a visual display that, to be honest, almost looks like the next generation of VR. It's that good. Everything from the core game is here with all three base games, complete with the ability to play online across both VR and flat versions. Trust me, nothing will prepare you for the feeling of screaming vertically up a trackside, all while sitting right inside your very own racing craft. I think the kid inside me that bought his own copy of Wipeout on the PS1 just peed himself a little. Giggity, giggity, giggity. Next up is Electronauts, and easily the biggest surprise hit for me on the PSVR. Being an avid fan of the Rock Band and Guitar Hero games, my lazy ass absolutely loved the feeling of playing and modifying my favorite music while being instantly awesome with zero talent. Electronauts brings that same feeling to electronic music and makes you feel like the world's best DJ. To borrow from the Preacher plays, playing Electronauts is like trying to paint, and every stroke is the Mona Lisa. Electronauts dispenses with a scoring system and instead simply puts you in one of over 40 licensed tracks and gives you all the samples, vocals, and instruments to experiment with, allowing you to jam and riff until your heart desires and deliver the perfect set. Giving you the ability to loop tracks, free drum, and remix all at once in the virtual environment simply could not be done outside of VR. With polished visuals, tight controls, and innovation to spare, Electronauts easily makes one of my top picks. Next on the list as we near the end is none other than Skyrim. If you are one of the few who haven't yet taken the journey through Tamriel, 
I hate you, and I'm super jealous that you get to experience this rich and deep open world RPG for the first time in VR. Playing Skyrim is an all-encompassing experience and made all the better in VR. Nothing will quite prepare you for the feeling of looking out off a mountaintop on the valley below and realizing this world is now your virtual playground to live inside. With Skyrim VR including the core game and all the previously released DLC, Skyrim is a masterpiece on PSVR and despite some choice game mechanics that could have been better optimized for VR, the port to VR works incredibly well and is especially stunning when playing on the PS4 Pro. Another classic PS3 era game gets the port to PSVR, and that would be Borderlands 2. With its cell shaded graphics and excellent deep gunplay, Borderlands 2 was the perfect VR game we didn't know we wanted. Despite the missing DLC from the previous versions and the need for a few VR optimizations, Borderlands 2 on PSVR is as awesome as you hoped it would be. For those Borderlands virgins, Borderlands 2 is an open world RPG light shooter with a healthy obsession with guns. With an awesome sense of humor and some genuinely awesome gun assortments, Borderlands 2 is fun and addicting enough to play through the main 30-hour campaign with all four unique character classes. With a multitude of movement and control options, the only thing missing is aim support, but this unfortunate omission isn't enough to keep this game out of a top spot. Who's ready for a mother humping tea party? <laughs> Step Aside Crash, as PlayStation has a new platforming mascot in the form of Astro. Astrobot Rescue Mission, developed by Sony's own Japan studio, is absolute platformer perfection that actually manages to out Nintendo, Nintendo. The Miyamoto magic resonates throughout Astrobot, giving anyone who plays it a giant smile on their face as they take a big bite of video game comfort food. With 5 worlds consisting of 27 levels and an additional 27 challenge levels, Astrobot amazes with constantly outdoing each prior level with new and innovative game mechanics and level design. The world of Astrobot, regardless of whether you are on the OG PS4 or the Pro, are visually stellar in the headset and complemented well with the excellent controls, sound effects, and fantastic original soundtrack. Young or inexperienced gamers alongside hardcore gamers will all find something to like in this instant classic and must-own PSVR title. What would have been number one six months ago falls to second place, and that is none other than Resident Evil 7. Maybe the only AAA flat game to get a VR option at launch, Resident Evil 7 in VR really is the only way to play it if you have the means. Despite some visual downgrades made less pronounced if you have a pro, Resident Evil 7 in VR is still stunning and absolutely more terrifying when you find yourself actually walking inside this dilapidated farmhouse of horrors and not simply playing as a bystander watching your TV. All the thrills in the world alone wouldn't make it a good game though, so thankfully Resident Evil 7 also stands as one of the best in the series, delivering story, puzzles, and gunplay that stands as some of the best in the series. Resident Evil 7's 12-hour campaign and additional free DLC campaign make this a game to really invest some time in. So if you haven't played it yet, get your diapers and sippy cup and go experience one of the best premier VR titles ever made. Multiple hostiles incoming. Time to earn your keep. And finally, that brings us to my number one PSVR game ever, and one for which I have invested easily over 200 fun-filled hours in. Of course, I'm talking about Firewall Zero Hour. Being a huge fan of the Rainbow Six Vegas series, I haven't since then enjoyed a team-based shooter like that until I jumped into Firewall Zero Hour. Yes, it only has one mode, attack and defend, and yes, it had some matchmaking issues at launch, but for me, running and gunning along with three other buddies and our aim controllers probably ranks up there in my top five gaming moments ever. The maps are amazing, the gunplay fun and hectic, but what makes this game special is the camaraderie and friendships it creates between complete strangers. With a strong and friendly player base, Firewall Zero Hour is a game I never get bored of jumping into. The dynamic nature of the gameplay means each and every match plays out differently than the prior ones, making this the ultimate just one more match game. With its real world visuals and 8 player PvP action, I honestly cannot believe First Contact has managed to bring this game to PSVR. But coming from a development team that has worked on some of the biggest shooters of all time, they have delivered a shooter that when combined with the aim controller, makes it alone a reason to buy a PSVR. Don't watch out. Smoke. Left side. 
Well, guys, that's it for me. Please hit that like button. And if you'd like to see more PSVR content from me, please consider subscribing. And for updates, hit that bell icon. Feel free to pop into the comments and let me know how my list compares to yours. As always, guys, I'll catch you on my next video.